Hello fellow art nerds, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be drawing Norman Rockwell in a cute cartoon anime style while telling you some fun facts you may or may not know about him. Rockwell was born in New York City on February 3rd, 1894. He was a painter and illustrator known for his paintings that depicted American culture. By the age of 14, Rockwell knew that he wanted to be an artist, and he started taking classes at the New School of Art. He painted his first commission of four Christmas cards before his 16th birthday, and by the age of 16, he was so set on becoming an artist that he dropped out of high school and began taking classes at the National Academy of Design. Rockwell transferred to the Art Students League of New York later on. He studied with Thomas Fogarty and George Bridgman. Fogarty would prepare Rockwell for his first commercial commissions at the age of 17, and Bridgman taught him his fundamental art techniques that he used throughout his whole career. Once he graduated, he was immediately hired as an illustrator for Boys Life magazine while he was still a teenager. In 1915, Rockwell moved to New Rochelle, New York. The community had many famous illustrators, such as Frank Leyendecker and Howard Chandler Christie. Rockwell set up a studio with cartoonist Clyde Forsyth and created artwork for the magazine's Life, Literary Digest, and Country Gentleman. In 1916, Rockwell painted his first cover for the Saturday Evening Post. He would work for the magazine company, The Post, for another 47 years, painting 321 covers for them. One of his most famous covers was the 1927 celebration of Charles Lindbergh crossing the Atlantic. In 1920, the Boy Scouts of America had a painting by Rockwell in their calendar, and Rockwell would continue to paint for them for the rest of his life. In 1939, Rockwell moved to Arlington, Vermont in the U.S. There he grew a careful appreciation for everyday American scenes, most notably the comfort of small town life. His paintings usually had a certain charm and sense of humor to them, and critics didn't think that he was a very professional artist because of that. As a response, Rockwell said, Maybe as I grew up and found the world wasn't the perfect place I had thought it to be, I unconsciously decided that if it wasn't an ideal world, it should be, and so painted only the ideal aspects of it. Rockwell didn't completely ignore the issues that surrounded him though. In 1943, he painted the four freedoms, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear, inspired by Franklin D. Roosevelt. The paintings were featured on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post and were incredibly popular, raising over $130 million as it toured the US. Even though he had great success with these paintings, Tragedy would also come to Rockwell in 1943, when a fire destroyed his art studio in Arlington, burning many of his paintings and his collection of historical costumes and props. In 1953, Rockwell moved to Stockbridge, Massachusetts in the US. He would spend the rest of his life there. In 1959, Rockwell would stop working for The Post and would instead work on covers for Look. One of his most popular covers was painted in 1969, celebrating the moon landing. With the help of his son Thomas, in 1960, Rockwell published his autobiography, My Adventures as an Illustrator. He also changed his focus for his artwork and began painting the social issues that were happening in the country, many of which focused on poverty and inequality. One of his most notable paintings was The Problem We All Live With, appearing on the cover of The Look on January 14, 1964. He received a lot of hate mail for this piece, since he was usually known to paint idealized versions of America, but it became one of the most important pieces of his career. It was the first painting that the Norman Rockwell Museum received in 1975, and was also hung in the White House later on. In the last 10 years of his life, Rockwell created the Norman Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge. This was to ensure that his artistic career would live on even after he was gone. In 1977, Rockwell was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Gerald Ford. He said that, Artist, illustrator, and author, Norman Rockwell has portrayed the American scene with unrivaled freshness and clarity. Insight, optimism, and good humor are the hallmarks of his artistic style. His vivid and affectionate portraits of our country and ourselves have become a beloved part of the American tradition. Rockwell passed away in his home on November 8, 1978, at the age of 84. In 2008, he was named the official state artist of Massachusetts, since he lived there for the last 25 years of his life. His legacy still continues today as a staple of iconic American artwork. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. 
please share it with a fellow art nerd. And if you love receiving quality and free art education, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon for working files, behind the scenes posts, and discounts on our class offerings. If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple other videos you can check out next.